There is a huge EXA clearance event going on now through the end of April 2022. Today I have five products I'm going to show you in a rapid fire fashion. We're just going to run right through them real quick so you can see what the differences are between them. And in the video description I'm going to list the links as well as the respective discounts. Let's get started. So the first product is the EM500 Gaming Mouse. This is a very lightweight mouse at only 68 grams. It has adjustable DPI from 800 to 12,400 DPI. There are eight buttons on there that are all programmable, provided you're using this on a PC. It's not supported on the Mac. You can configure any button to do absolutely anything you'd ever imagine, and it has six RGB modes. Let's go through those right quick. This mouse has a braided cord with a ferrite choke coil on there to prevent interference. So I'm just going to show you the RGB lighting modes of this mouse. Obviously, you move it around. It's a mouse. You got your left click, your right click, your scroll with the click on that. You could set your DPI. You have side buttons. You could do forward and back on your browser. Or like I said, you can program them for anything you want. In this RGB mode, each time you click, it lights up there in a different color. So that's kind of nifty right there. The button to change RGB modes is on the bottom. And here's another mode right there. That's off. You have a color circulating mode like that, which is really nice. Fade mode as such. Fade through the different colors. And that's back to the click mode there. And once again, like I said, this is a very, very lightweight mouse at only 68 grams, so you can zoom all over the place, no problem, during your particularly intense gaming sessions. This is the EM200 gaming mouse. It has 13 RGB modes, adjustable DPI from 1,000 to 12,000 DPI. It has white or black interchangeable covers, as you see right there. They just pop right off. You could swap that on there. It has a tunable weight system from 91.8 grams to 108 grams, and there are seven programmable buttons. Let's test it out. Also, this one does have a braided cord as well as a ferrite choke coil on the cord to prevent interference. This one has lighting on the sides, as you see there. So we're going to run through that. You hold down any of the left buttons on the side and press the DPI button and that'll change the lighting modes. All different colors in this one. A lot of cool stuff. That's off. Breathing red. Multicolor. And I believe we've seen all the other color combinations in that. Once again, your typical mouse, you can mouse around just fine, left, right, scroll wheel, your side buttons, DPI up and down there. And again, hold one of the two side buttons and press one of the DPI buttons to change the RGB mode. Also, the tunable weight system. 
cover flips right up it's magnetic and in here are the weights so you have six weights here and the way it works is you could just take this out completely for the lightest weight mouse that you want or put all of them in for the heaviest or remove some and leave others and you can tune the weight exactly as you want and just to show you what it would look like with the black cover we'll go ahead and put that on just like that and now you have a fully black mouse if you want or the white as I showed you before next up is the E3000 gaming headset this has 50 millimeter drivers for deep punchy bass it has an on the cord control for volume and microphone mute it is lighted on the sides and it hooks up via a 3.5 millimeter TRRS plug. There's also a USB plug that is strictly for the lighting on the headset. It has no bearing on the headset working or not. It's just to run the lights. You don't want the lights, don't plug it in. In the event, the device you're plugging this into, and I say device because this is compatible pretty much across the board with anything on the planet with a 3.5 millimeter plug. This, like I said, is a TRRS plug. They do give you an adapter that you can plug together on there, and this will break out to your PC type connection for headset and microphone, just like that. So now we're going to go ahead and hook this up and I'll give you a sound sample with it and a microphone test. First thing I want to show you are the RGB lights. So take a look there. They're just going to cycle through and do their thing. It's blue going into purple. The camera has a hard time adjusting to that. And as you see, that's changing very simply right there. The colors on each side are different at different times as well so that's kind of nifty as well this is super comfortable big big ear cups right there and see this here this is sort of like a stretchy band I can't really explain it I'll put it on and that's it usually you would like pull it to adjust to the size of your head this elastic band does all of that for you you just put it on it just sits naturally and it fits there pretty lightweight certainly not too bad all around so we're all set let's do a microphone test as you see the microphone is on a gooseneck so you can adjust that anywhere you'd like simple like that and let's go ahead and start recording here this is a test recording using the exa e3000 gaming headset this is a test recording using the exa e3000 gaming headset and now I'm going to give you a sample of what it sounds like with the headset only problem with that is it's a headset and you have to wear it to hear what it actually sounds like the best I'm going to be able to do for you is pretty much just nestle the camera in the earpiece there and let you listen to it I'm going to play the same song for this headset and the next one so this way you can go back and forth in the video to compare the sound quality because you need to wear this as it's a personal item this sound test is for demonstration purposes only and does not represent the actual sound quality that can be achieved And now on to the E900 Plus headset. This headset has a removable microphone, as you see here. That's a gooseneck as well, so you can bend it in any position that you want, just like that. This hooks up via USB only. This is going to work with pretty much any operating system out there. As long as your operating system supports USB audio support, this should work with it. 
on the cord you have a volume control and microphone mute this one much larger ear cups on there these are going to block out more sound and this one is the more traditional adjustment like that these do light up only in red this headset also supports virtual 7.1 surround sound you can download a driver from X's website to enable that feature. It also has THX spatial positioning technology. That's great for gamers because you can kind of hear if footsteps are happening on the left from behind you or on the right in front of you or anything like that. This also has 50 millimeter drivers and will give it very nice deep bass. Now let's do a microphone test. This model has much bigger ear cups, which tend to block out a lot of excess sound that might be around you, ambient sound. Now let's go ahead and do a microphone test with this. This is a test recording using the EXA E900 Plus gaming headset. This is a test recording using the EXA E900 Plus gaming headset. And now a sound sample of how the headset actually sounds. Once again, the same rules apply because it's a personal item. This is for demonstration purposes only. Same song, same volume, same everything, and you can compare. And last but not least is the RGB headset stand. It sits crooked because my surface is far from level. So it would stand normally straight up and down. Now this obviously, you know, you have your headset, you got to put it somewhere so you can just put it right on there. But, you know, why just have that? You can do a lot more with this. Plugs in USB to your computer. Back of the unit has a USB-C connection cable, of course, is included. You have two USB ports, here and here. And those USB ports can be for charging or for data. So you can plug in a flash drive, transfer your data from that. Uh, card reader, SD card reader, micro SD card reader, plug that in and do that. Or you can plug in headsets. And when you plug in a USB enabled headset, no matter what kind it is, as long as it's USB and you plug it in, you can download drivers for this and it will then give you virtual 7.1 surround sound on that headset that may not even support it. This does it right through there. Also supports 3.5 millimeter plugs, as you see there. And those ports are microphone, headphone, and microphone, headphone combined. So basically, if you have a headset that has the microphone, as the legend indicates right there, with the 3.5 millimeter TRRS plug, it would plug in there. If your headset has separate headphone and microphone, you would use those two on the right. Very simple like that. But, of course, we're all here for the RGB. Let me get the camera reconfigured so you can see that better. There is a fingerprint marking on the left side. You press it, and there you go. You have RGB all around, going just like that. And that'll color change like that, or you have your solid colors. This one sort of morphs into the next color and back off again. So a really nice stand for your headset when you're not using it. So take advantage of the EXA clearance event going on now. 
through the end of April 2022. Once again, the links to all of these products will be in the video description below, along with their respective discounts. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.